Hello guys, today I want to show you how I restore an axle out of a motor torpedo hub. And with this kind of hub we have some problems. The first I think is uh, this hub is very expensive and with it the parts also. And you cannot take parts out of a bicycle torpedo because the hub is a little bit smaller and so you have to search the parts on eBay or on flea markets and for the seller this is funny but not for the men who want to buy the parts they are so expensive and so it is good to restore every part if it's possible and I show you now how I refurb a cone and an axle in a less and now let's get start the video i use a little wood stick and sandpaper to take material from the damaged cone but not until the end some pittings i think it's okay and don't take too much material from the cone I think it's a better version. Now the axle is uh, in a in a vise uh, with the end and with this special tool I draw it a fixed cone until the end there is a little ring in the axle and you have to be fix this fixed cone and this is very important. Some people drawing a lock nut on the cone to also and close the lock nut to the cone, to the fixed cone. It is a good idea, I think. Now I check the measurement, the diameter of the five rolls, if, if they are the same. This is important. If one is too big, you can damage your driver very fast. This is a little wonder. Um, the original ball bearing of the right side on the driver is a K58. And this is a Durex, a Durex bearing, ball bearing with the number 55. But you can use it on the driver of a FSPR torpedo. You can also take the balls out of the Durex ball bearing and fill it into the ring of the original star ball bearing. It's, it's, you have the same result. But look, it draws very well. With this is very easy to fill the five rolls onto the driver and hold it with a ring with, with my, I call it push and press method.
Important is to feel grease on the ball bearing but not on the rolls. Between the ball bearing and the rolls I only fill oil. If you fill grease, maybe the hub draws free and you cannot drive if you pedaling forwards. And with the brake on I find another problem with this axle. Someone has fixed it. Yes, has fixed it in the wise and it is not so well. So I use again the less and work with a little file at the axle. Also with sandpaper on a wood stick. This is a new brake shoe. You can you can find two versions. This is with two rust parts, a three part brake shoe, and you also can find a two part brake shoe. There is a brass the brass um, brake only one part. The brake shoe is new, but I work with sandpaper on it, and so we'll, you will have a good break. You can use grease for a steel brake on a brass brake, but better is Vaseline. And the best way on a, on a motorcycle torpedo is to open the hub two or three times in a year and refill it with new oil and grease. And the reason is the motor torpedo is bigger like a bike torpedo, but the motor torpedo is too small for a motorcycle and so the biggest problem is the people don't fill new oil and grease in the hub and so it damaged so very fast. And this kind of hub it is good to put the brake 
now the lever cone into the hub shell with the ball bearing and then draw the axle in the lever cone with the brake arm. Sometimes it is a little bit difficult, but this tool helps to bring the axle in the lever cone. Now I work for the play. It's always the same with Fichtel and Sachs hubs. If you work for a good play, the ball bearings do not damage your hub shell. A motorcycle with a motor torpedo inside, inside normal has a drum brake at the front. The V100. And I prefer to brake the most of the time with the drum brake in front and did not use the brake of the torpedo hub. Only to have it in difficult situations in the traffic. To draw the sprocket on the hub shell is only to test it, because if you spoke in this hub, you have to take off the sprocket from the hub shell. Thanks for watching and bye bye until the next video. Yours, Don Torpedo.